Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach uh, how to how to a bind uh, ASP.NET bind drop down list dynamically using jQuery Ajax from SQL Server. Now I will teach step by step. Uh, first of all, I need to create one new form. Right click new, add new item. Here web form you have using uh, select the web form. Here I am changing the name. jQuery jQuery bind drop down so now I am created the successful in one web form here web form here now I need to uh, create the database click here put the dot dot means it will get the your server name server name is my computer name it will get automatically computer name you have to put single dot is enough you are using express uh, SQL express edition then you have to put the slash after that you have to mention the SQL express edition no need to put your computer name here okay now I am selecting the my database record I have the database called record and click record and ok so this is my database I have the table uh, login login table is there now I am creating that new table like add new table here ID where care I am using Worker and student name worker and age worker. So I have the three columns in that uh, table and click save. Here I am using table name student and ok right now I don't have any records here so I will copy the records from another database just go to new query uh, here I am choosing personal info id I am choose name and age and execute so I have nine records within that just I'm copy these records control C and go to my database right now record database and click show student and click just paste so now right now I have nine records within my uh, database I need to bind this database uh, in this drop down so I have already written some queries from by reference so I am copying the step by step first I need to uh, mention the connection string here just copy the connection string step one I am going to after that I will uh, post this all the steps in inside the command command option in my video so you will just copy and paste it in your uh, coding so just double click here here just go to the web config double click and paste it so this is connection string here I am using uh, my connection string my table connection string just I have to put the dot here so it dot and I am changing the uh, database name record record so now is enough ok now I am going to the coding part right now go to second steps I need to copy this code here control C and paste it here 
not all V. So fill set 300 pixel, 3 310 pixel in populate drop down list using the jQuery Ajax. Select student here ID I am using uh, drop down list student just save and run project here so we will see the drop down list it's running so we will see the drop down list here but we can't get any values right now we write the code from getting the values from uh, grid view or oh, sorry sql server using ajax so now i need to write the code for code for that just go to view code here you have to declare the uh, namespace here so go to just copy this namespace i am using the four namespace here one is configuration system dot configuration and system dot data and system dot data dot sql client and system dot web dot service services okay i have used four namespace uh, library functions here now i need to write the sql code sorry uh, c sharp code i am step four i am just copying these values Just copy and paste it. So here we are using the student ID. So I need to declare STU ID STU name student name. We are and here populating the drop down list data object. So I am calling the connection string here. So you will see all the details one step by step. Here I have to mention the ID. And here stu underscore student name here. So I call two functions to uh, names uh, like a database column names I mentioned here so I'm calling I'm ge calling the two names here so I have to declare ID comma stu underscore name here I'm using the table name student so first of all I'm declaring I'm calling the this value from here student ID and student name <coughs> okay so I'm declaring the object for variable for the student ID this is also worker so not so that's string So I have student 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 student. Okay. Now I am creating the static list using this web method. Web method and that's why I am using the web services here. Using web method I will creating the list object. So populating drop down list. This is the function name. So here data table dt I am declaring the data table is uh, act as a local table. Uh, now I am calling the list. It will run by run. The list will be uh, populating this list should be in this uh, store this uh, variables after that I converting the uh, list so I am calling the connection string here using connection string and SQL data adapt uh, SQL command I am using to select fetch the records from 
table here so open the connection sql data adapter i am executing these connections so uh, And after that I add in the list using the string here just a minute I will change all the details to string so one by one the record will be stored in the list that list will be uh, copied from this populate list so I am created the uh, all the details here so you can see first declaring the data table and creating the list object after that I am creating the uh, opening the connections and uh, passing the command after executing the uh, that particular command and stored into the value into dt dt means data table or based on the data table I am try to uh, run the uh, loop for loop here after that based on the for loop one by one the record will be stored into uh, these variables here that variables is student object it passed into list here ok so this is the steps in C sharp steps so I need to call this function in javascript so I am going to the step 5 so I am copying these values copy these values I paste into under the title under the title section inside the head sections just paste it so I am calling the uh, Ajax Google API dot com in Ajax and library jQuery jQuery dot mean dot js I am calling here I am declaring the JavaScript here I am using the ready functions ready function means it automatically once program is executed once the form will run that time it will automatically execute these functions uh, using Ajax I am using the post method and JSON dot uh, using the JSON method so it will convert the list into JSON so I am calling the form name I am using this form name right which form I am using just press F2 here and copy and paste it here so you have to mention the URL of your form so inside a form you have to copy the populate drop down list so this is the populate drop down list <coughs> drop down list function here I am calling that functions here using json method so it will convert the j output will convert into the json object after that result is successful <coughs> i need to uh, pass the dl departments dl departments here dl student so i am renamed the dl student here this is the drop down list name so so the append empty dot append so it will first time clearing the all values what time stored in uh, drop down list after that I manually added the one value option dot zero the positions is select uh, after that each result D and key append in the options so that means uh, inside the options it will the value will be stored value dot department ID so here I am using student ID so I need to change this student ID so it will store like a value after that in value department name here I am using student name just and copy this value to student name here so save so it the result will be one by one it automatically add into your drop down list so first I am run the project here so it executing so first select so this is select first we are manually added one item now that item is stored showing in this view after that I am click the the name should be coming here so it dynamically comes from database using jQuery and uh, jQuery Ajaxes 
so okay guys we will meet on next best tutorial bye see you later